silence for all the people that died because of the celestial dragons. Ah yes, Don Quixote homing. He seems like a seems like a nice guy, I guess. We look at him for the first time, looks like a nice guy. You know, I'm just gonna take a wild guess, say this bratty little kid is law. I mean not law, do flamingo. Sorry if I just angered a lot of law fans out there. I myself am a law fan. So yeah, I guess that was Doflamingo, Flamingo, that little kid with the black glasses. Wow. A lot of happened a lot happened to Do Flamingo. And now that we know what kind of person that he actually is in the future, we don't really care. I mean yes, I feel bad for Do Flamingo, but the thing that he the things that he's doing now makes you not really care. Makes you kinda say he deserved it. Well, I guess he didn't necessarily deserve it because, you know, he's just a little kid. He didn't really do the things he did in the future yet. So yeah, I guess he didn't deserve deserve it at the time, but if we're talking about now, he really should have deserved the thing that happened to him. Huh. Well, that's something I didn't expect. Actually, now that we see in this chapter, Law was actually treated actually like a family member in the Doflamingo Pirates. No, I mean the Don Quixote Pirates. Man, my mind is off track today, kind of. Wait. Law is a D? Law has D in his name, his full name. Actually, I'm, I'm going to pull it back up on my desktop right now. His full name is Chuck. See, I put it up on my desktop so I could be sure that his name is Trafalgar D. Wattel Law. <laughs> oh man, quite the person. Wait, how old is Law? Like 20 something? What is he, like 24? Ah, so the Wattel is in his name because it was his mother's name, so, and his family always used it, so he put Wattel in his name. So I guess his original name is Trafalgar D. Law. But he just put Wattel in it because that's a family thing. Okay. What's up with Doflamingo and the D?